Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be filming a what is in my hand luggage carry-on bag. Um, I think I've done one of these videos before um, but as I am going away on Saturday I thought I would do a new one, just an updated version of what is in my hand luggage. So I decided to pick up this bag from Accessorize the other day. It's just like a super large shopper tote bag and I got it in silver. It was £27 and I had a black one and a couple of other colours. Um, but I have travelled with a like small cabin carry-on suitcase a couple of times, which is really great for like my camera and my laptop and stuff like that. But I also quite like to just have a bag, even like just a huge bag that I can just dive into and like know where stuff is, um, rather than having to like sit on the floor over my case and just get everything out all the time. So I decided to go for a shopper bag. So I'm going to start off with the kind of essentials. So first of all, passport. It definitely would help. Um, so this is my Kate Spade um, passport cover. It's like a sort of dark dusky pink which I really really love um, and it has got black and white stripes on the inside and my initials. My passport is absolutely battered. I'm doing a new one next year. Second thing is this notebook from Papier and it says Haley's travel notes but absolutely love this. It's just a lined notebook and um, I always, always, always take a notebook on a flight with me, even if it's just for a couple of hours, because I kind of use that time where I'm not on emails, not on social media, and I can just sit down and like plan content and write stuff. Um, so yeah, I do love a notebook, so that's coming with me. Third thing I always take is a book. Um, I, to be honest, I normally go to like W. H. Smith or Waterstones at the airport and pick up a couple more just for my trip. I normally take about three to four books on holiday with me because I absolutely just love laying by the pool and reading. So at the moment I'm currently reading Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I think that's how you say it, Oliphant. Um, but yeah, I'm like a third of the way through this book. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So that is coming on the plane with me. And I'm super excited to finish it because I've seen loads of people talking about it. Next thing that's coming with me is my laptop. I will have a case on this, but I've just got a really basic boring case so I'm not including that in the video um so yeah I'm going to take my laptop I really love just those hours in the air where I'm not connected to the internet um I know some airplanes do offer like internet connection but I tend to not go for that and just sit on like word documents and just write loads of content so I actually love like I really look forward to that part of the flight so that is coming with me as well along with my charger and my camera I'm also going to take a um iPhone charger and a spare battery pack as well. Um, so yeah, they're the not so exciting things that are coming with me. Also, my headphones. These are just some rose gold headphones. I think I picked these up from Asda. They were like £17 um, because my last pair broke on me quite suddenly when I was running the other day. Um, so yeah, just replace them with these and they fold down, which is super handy um, when you are travelling. Okay, this is something that I absolutely cannot live without, and it is a neck pillow. I feel like I don't really know what I did before neck pillows, but they are just an absolute lifesaver. This one is from Primark, it's cream, and it's just super, super soft, and I think it was about £4. The neck pillow is so good, um, but I always, always carry that on me. Okay, so I always take a little bag of toiletries on the flight with me just so I can freshen up. So I popped them in here. This was this little bag that came as a part of like one of three from Primark for four pound. Um, but it's really good size for my in-flight toiletries. And then when I get to the airport, I'll just transfer it into a clear plastic bag. But I have just got some deodorant, some perfume. I've got the Garnier Micellar Water. I don't really travel with any makeup on anyway. Um, but I will use that with some cotton pads just to like clean my face. And then I have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion. And the Clinique All About Eyes um, Anti... Oh well, reduces circles and puffy eyes. So that is exactly what I'm going to be needing after a long haul flight. So I don't really put on like too much skincare on a flight, but I will always put on moisturiser, um, some eye cream, and also some lip balm as well, just to stay hydrated during the flight. So those are the toiletries that I'm taking with me, and also an eye mask. Um, I always, always, always sleep on the plane. It's kind of like a joke between my friends that I can just sleep anywhere. So with my eye mask and my neck pillow, I will be 
happy as anything i mean if you guys have seen my primark haul if not i'll link it below but everything was featured in that haul just now so what i'm gonna pack is my beach towel um this was seven pound it's got a really nice like um leaf print all over it in bright blue and then pom-poms along the bottom so yeah i'm gonna pack my beach towel along with my flip-flops so these were two pound with again really cute pom-pom detail on a bikini and like a beach cover up and some sunglasses just so like when i get there i can just go and change in a bathroom and head down to the beach while the room is like getting ready or use the hotel pool but it's just nice to be able to just make the most of those few hours um so the bikini i'm packing is this khaki one it's got like a really cute tassel detail and it's like a crochet um detail on it as well so that was six pound and the bottoms were four pound so ten pound for the set absolutely love that that is coming with me in my hand luggage bag and then this black off the shoulder super lightweight cover-up dress to be honest i'll probably change into this as soon as i get to the airport um because it's going to be about 32 degrees so i'm literally traveling in like a super comfy jumper and leggings and trainers so i'm probably not going to want to travel to the hotel in that so i'll get changed at the airport head to the hotel check in and then i will be straight down to the beach um another thing that i will also take is sun cream but i don't have any miniatures so that's something i'll pick up at the airport and a few other things that i always pick up at the airport which kind of just seems to be like a tradition for me i always pick up some magazines just in case i want something different from reading my book um always pick up some boiled sweets as well my ears always pop when i travel so i always grab those from wh smith um and yeah that's kind of what i will be taking i'm also gonna be taking my sunglasses um again for when i arrive and it's super sunny unlike london right now and the last thing that I'm packing is this Aveda Stress Fix Concentrate. So it's just like a little roll on, but this pretty much comes on every flight with me, or yeah, especially long distance as well. Like I'm a pretty good flyer, I'm not necessarily scared of flying, but I find that this really helps just to relax me and it helps me sleep as well. So you just roll it on your temples and on your wrists. Um, and yeah, if anybody is scared of flying or a bit of a nervous flyer, then I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, it's really great. So that is coming with me as well. But yeah, that is pretty much everything that is coming in my hand luggage with me. I think that's pretty much it, bar like my camera and my charges and stuff, which you don't want to see because it's so boring. Um, but yeah, if you are going a long distance flight to a long, uh, sorry, to a sunny destination, I would like just recommend packing some swim stuff and some flip flops when you get to the airport. The last thing you want to do is be like sitting in a taxi with like no air cord and you've got like a tracksuit or like trainers on. It's just going to be so uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for my trip. I'm going to be vlogging it. I'm going on my own um just for eight days so i'm gonna be vlogging the trip can't wait to take you guys with me and if you've never been to thailand before it's like one of my favorite places in the world and you will soon see why so stay tuned for next week's video and i will see you guys soon bye